Today, guys, today I'm gonna show you how I would travel from my city Komsomolsku na Mur, which is located in the far east of Russia, to Moscow, which is about 8,000 kilometers from here. Crazy, yeah? And I'm gonna travel this maybe in about 15 or 20 hours, because I'm gonna firstly get to Khabarovsk, which is the capital of our region, and after this I will take a plane to Moscow. So, check this out. Firstly, I've decided to take a Blablacar from Komsomolsk to Khabarovsk. Blablacar is a service that allows you to travel between cities on cars with people who are going to the same point that you need. It's far more comfortable and faster than trains or buses, and it costs only 700 rubles, which is only 10 US dollars. Speaking of time, it will took about 5 hours drive without stops. Why am I going to Moscow? As some of you know, I've got a scholarship from the exchange program called Year in America for Russians. This program, which is founded by the US Embassy in Moscow, allow Russian students to go to the US for almost 10 months to obtain a cultural experience of the United States. Here is my driver, just killing by. Here is me with my bag. And here I am in Khabarovsk, actually. So it's kind of interesting. Here I am in our Khabarovsk airport. And right now I'm gonna go on a plane, have a seat, and have an 8 hours flight from Moscow or from Khabarovsk to Moscow. This one is our old Soviet airport, which was built, I don't know, maybe in the 80s or 70s. And this one is really new. It was built like two years ago. So right now I'm gonna go there and have a plane. Well, there are some churches. I think some babushkas won't sit on a plane without going there. I've stayed the night in Khabarovsk, and the next day I had a flight to Moscow. How do you travel from the forest of Russia to Moscow? Well, there are several ways. The first one is just flying on a plane. It will cost about $200 and will took about 8 hours. They will feed you two times and you even can watch some movie on small screens in front of you. After I landed in Moscow, I had to go to my relatives. But because of the size of Moscow, it took almost 4 hours to get there by public transport. You can take a glass of soda uh, for 45 rubles, which is, I don't know, half a dollar. Interesting fact about landing in Russia, this is when the plane lands in Russia, everybody just closing for like pilots. I don't know why, because it's, it's so like funny. Like this is their job, this is not a mystery or something. At 6 a.m. here I am in Moscow, actually I'm like in Vnukova, it's not really Moscow, but officially it's Moscow, okay, whatever. So right now I'm going to the subway, to metro, just to take some ride to my place of destination of my visa interview, because I'm getting a visa for my exchange program in the United States in this autumn. So wish me good luck, actually I don't think it's gonna be like super hard because we have 
our exchange program provided by the government of the US, even with the embassy, so it's not gonna be a problem. Here we go. I'm just heading towards the embassy to get my student exchange visa. So wish me luck, guys. Right now I'm going to the embassy just to get my visa. There's already gonna be some students as me for my exchange program. I'm kinda nervous, cause you know, I've never been abroad, I've never had an interview used uh, for some visas. So wish me luck. So I just get my visa, it was kinda easy. Not tough questions such as where I'm, where I'm going, what I'm going to study. So there are some people yeah, in the embassy, which is behind me. I just got my brand new visa, guys. Yeah, this is my first visa ever. It was really simple, like. The questions were like, where are you going, what are you going to study, and you know, uh, when you get in a travel visa, it's not that simple as for exchange ones. So thank you for my exchange program here, uh, which provides such service, such opportunities. Thank you very much. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I've got my brand new visa, guys, to the US. So, by the way guys, I'm looking for students who want to learn Russian language with me. So if you're interested in learning Russian with a native Russian speaker, just DM me in my Instagram, like the Russian somewhere here. Also, there is daily content about life in Russia and traveling in Moscow right now. So feel free to subscribe and see you later. Bye!